Leon Biner with you. I've got uh, Russell Markham, the marketing manager of Foodland. I'm joined also by Senator Nick Xenophon, who is going to move urgently for an inquiry into the SPC request for help. And let's be clear, it isn't based on any industrial relations issue or the cost of labour. It is based almost entirely on the unfair playing field that they and others have to endure, particularly with imports that are not even safe. Now, Russell Markham, you've invited SPC here to Adelaide. Just tell the public what's going on from your perspective. Well, Leon, firstly, uh, Foodland are famous for supporting local producers and having a range and choice on our shelves that is very much local and Australian. So the thought of these products some, somewhere in the future disappearing is really unacceptable to us and, and quite frankly, un-Australian. So we want to work with SPC Ardmona uh, for a number of reasons. A, we want to make sure our customers have the choice when they shop in our stores. We want to support, obviously, our, um, our manufacturing sector. And for another reason, Leon, and that is that that Shepherd and Cannery produces a number of lines under the Foodland brand. And as I've said before, we won't produce a line under the Foodland brand unless it's Australian grown and produced. So if that cannery some somewhere in the future closes we just won't have those lines available and, that, and i'm talking about lines such as canned pears peaches mm. fruit salad yeah. tomatoes even baked beans and spaghetti is that right and we, we know where they're from we are happy with the quality uh we don't know where this other overseas um, stuff that you mentioned, uh, we don't know the quality say, of that. We're not even allowed to name the label. Uh, Nick, I'm going to get you to do it under privilege next week. Will you do it? Yes, if I don't know what the oh, label is. But one of the problems that's been pointed out to me by Sharman Stone is this, that these labels keep changing. It might be done in a factory in, in a particular part of China, but what happens is the labels keep changing, so once they're named and shamed, they'll just simply change it to another label and then you, you're all chasing your tail, yeah, which is the regulators, the regulators food safety standards, this stuff needs to be inspected. Well, some of it is, but not enough. No, no, no not enough. It's needle in a haystack stuff. We need to be much more comprehensive. So I, I agree with everything that Russell so, said about so, that. So, Russell, how can the public help? What, 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 what can they do? Well, look, I, I go back to the, to the Spring Gully um, situation, Leon. Spring Gully were in trouble. What did the public do? The public, our stores, put the products out there, they made sure the customers could find them, the customers bought the products, all of a sudden Spring Gully's out of trouble. I see this very much as a similar issue. It's up to the public to make, when they make a buying decision, to know the product's Australian and to actually support Australian. And if there's, if there's a few cents of, um, uh, involved in it, that, that's not the issue. This is about making sure that our manufacturing sector can survive in the food industry. If, if, if this cannery goes, we'll never come back. Look, uh, I'd love to get your feedback on this on 8223 0000. Let's be clear, Nick. This isn't so much that SPC Art Mona uh, have genuine fair competition and they just can't match it. They've got a situation which is clearly unfair and their competitors in many cases are not safe. Okay, let's put this in perspective. Dumping is defined under the WTO rules, as skewed as they are against us, as selling products in another market, away from your home market, below the cost of your home market. Now, how the hell is that fair?